Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> okay, today we're going to do something different. You know, we are stressed out to the people in my yard. Yeah, if you run to the supermarket, it look bad, it don't look good, and I'll learn something new. So today I'll be doing a makeup tutorial on how to just throw on some glam so that when you see an ex at the supermarket, you know, see a good light. Like, that's it. I'll be too picking at them and you're still cute. Or is that just me? Alright, never mind. So that, you know, you can feel confident in yourself, you know, stepping out on the road even though you're a mother. Um, also remember to like, share, subscribe, and press the little notification bell so you can see all my videos when them just, just come out fresh, fresh, right? So, let's get into it. First of all, I was just say I run behind the look of bad pain in them. See if it's sweet up my eye look right. So, let's take some wipes. Wipe off your face. Right? See? Cause you know, you just finished running behind the kids, you know, you put on you put down the baby to sleep. You probably just done cook. You know, yeah, you can't wash your face too. Honey. I like a little makeup something. <laughs> the face primer. <laughs> Alright, this is not a must, but it protects your face and from from you know like the harm that the makeup can do to you and stuff like that. But this is not a must. So you must smooth it onto your face. Because you know as a mother you probably don't have a full blown makeup kit. I used to do makeup so I have the whole today. So let's put on a little primer. You know? You don't have to put on primer as I said. This will work just fine without a little primer. You know, we just rub on something quick quick so we can run to the supermarket and wanna look like, you know, like zombies. Or if your friend them say them go somewhere and you say no, I want to come to you. But you know you're not a makeup savvy person. You just like one little something so that you know you're not looking too much. Alright, so now we're gonna do an eyebrow, right? First of all, you must always try to you know keep yourself groomed as a mother so you'll feel good. So if you can't go still on go do your makeup and your toes and nails and all these things, just always make sure your eyebrow shape. You know? So now put on the eyebrow, it look nice. How I do mine, this is not no professional way, it's how me do mine. Cool. So, there you go. I need to make my seat. 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 I need to just line it from the bottom. And you're going to follow your eyebrow line, right? See that? And then, you're going to line it. Don't go all the way to the front, you know. You start like go right here, so. You break off. <laughs> you gotta line it. And remember to follow your brow line. Sorry, this camera is so dull and hard to do a video. Just follow your brow line, right? Shot box. Right, so after you do the top and the bottom, you're going to just fill it in. You can do your eyebrow as thick or as skinny as you want. Don't make nobody fry me until I say eyebrow don't look good. Make sure you want to do it to see if you want to make it neat so up to you and your eyebrow. And then you know to make the front a little more, make it more realistic, you kind of just come up like this. See? You can't see this again. Yeah, you know you just come up like this. See? See? So my eyebrow nice and big and thick. That's scary. Just 
do the next one. Yes, all right, so the next thing now that you don't have to do because you know, as I said, I used to do the whole makeup thing, so I'm kind of have them something already. This, um, the primer, I'm going to put it underneath my brow. You can see it. it, it. Wait, look, let me do like a makeup tutorial or something. Yeah, that. This muse, the primer, I'm going to put this because it's a lighter color underneath my eyes, eyebrow. Then I'm going to use this one. Since it's a darker color, this one since it's a darker color on the top, so you know you don't look like angry birds. I'm gonna put it up on the back of my hand, right? Now, before I learned about brushes and something there, we used to have them with something like back in the days. Remember them days? Eh? When you look like a pair of them, you can use this too. Don't make nobody feel like you're buying a big pack of brush, even though it does help. Or, you can use your angle brush. My angle brush kind of fuzz out now, but yeah. The angle brush, you do underneath your eye and above your eye. Just want to make sure so it's showing on the camera. You just take your time. underneath it with the light color and just kind of bring it down right so that looks nice I got this, you know, line above. Okay, I watch. I'm gonna learn a thing or two. Actually, but the best thing is for do it to the shape of your eyebrows, so you know, you know. Oh yeah, the one thing we forgot to do. <laughs> the spoolie. <laughs> You're supposed to do this before you line it, right? Yeah. And just kind of brushing. Me, you know, it's not hard for me to brush it because, you know. But you're supposed to do this before the, the spool is something. You're supposed to do that before you do the lining. And you just kind of. So what I'm going to do is actually tone down the um the color up here. I'm just going to put out the foundation going right across, right? Right across to tone down. See that? Nice and toned down. You just can blend it in. I don't know what the brush name, don't ask me the brush name. I don't know the brush name, I just have a brush. I'm just full of brush. Cause, but I am not study the name then, I never got no makeup school or something. So I just put a little 
this is foundation guys this is foundation i put in so that you can tone down the brightness of the primer that you put underneath your eye Hello, Daisy. all over me all right um i don't even know why i'm going this far i swear as we say, it was just supposed to be something simple while well, I have to run away from the kids. So, mothers, do not try this at home while the kids are running around. This is not for the kids running around things. So, I'm just putting a little, you know, eyeshadow. I'm using, it, it looks a little bright, but I'm just using um, this. It's a, it's a goldish color. Um, the camera is not showing it properly, but it's a little. Then, next, I'm just going to put on a little eyeliner. Um, you can use the regular one, but I'm still at top. Is this? regular one with them sell a shop or they can be extra like me and buy the Maybelline stilettos okay it's not oh, this, it's not waterproof so if you're going to have a breakdown and cry after your kids like do all sorts of money evil to you don't wear it just wear the little shop one that no waterproof neither but this will burn in your eye tell you that Then I just kind of put a little liner. <laughs> and then you're going to line the bottom. If you like cry and you don't like things going near to your eyeball, don't try this. Okay, I will run water. And then it's going to just mess up everything. So don't even try this if you don't say I love Bali Bali. As you can see, it's still a little bright, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to um, use a dark color and put right here so you don't give the eyes some more definition. Sorry guys, I knew this was supposed to be a simple tutorial. I do apologize to the person that tuned in to find out how to do a simple tutorial and book up in a this. So I just want to tell you something. Now everybody has this, but I do. And what I'm going to use is um, I'm going to use this dark color right here. See this? I'm going to use this dark color. Just thin the creases. Put on the rest of the foundation now, nothing much, just a little foundation. You can either use your fingers and just pat it on like this, or you can use a brush. Personally, I like to use my fingers because it don't waste it. Don't rub because you're going to rub the face primer. If you have dark spot underneath your eyes, you might want to like put a little primer on the hair. You know, from the sleepless nights, from the night, you could wake up at 3 a.m. vomiting. And you gotta be up. Also, another beauty routine tip: always make sure that your eyebrows are shaved, and also exfoliate your lips. So, um, the lip gloss I'll be using is from Sam Glam Cosmetics, and it's called. Caribbean Buddy. Um, I don't know if you turn it on. Yeah, so that's one of the brands. Um, Sam Glam Cosmetics. Can you see it? Okay. Yeah. So Sam Glam Cosmetics, and they also sell lip scrub. So you can go ahead and try that out. 
So I'm using my fingers to put on the foundation because it don't waste it, you know? When you use your fingers, it don't waste the foundation. If you use the brush or a sponge, the oil of the brush or the sponge is going to soak up the foundation. There's not much else to do after this. So I can either just use my lip gloss, which is um makes my lips kishable. My Sam Glam Cosmetics terribly and fatty. Or I can put some lip gloss on, some um some lipstick on and then I can put the lip gloss on the lipstick, right? So I don't think I'm going to do anything much but just put on some powder and then the lip gloss, right? So I'm just going to put on some powder. Let's use a nice powder brush. Put on a little powder. Get the shine off your face. Oh, 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 the brand is, um, <laughs> Cover Girl Club Crusher. <laughs> Don't mind me, me's not a professional makeup artist. You see me? I'm just a try a thing. You can't do my thing still, but you know, never gone to school. I can put blue eyeliner. Wait. Yeah, I like that. Blue liner. So, Alright, we're gonna get a go a little bit more upon the extra side. No. Yeah. I have this, which is mineral silk. Radiance powder, yeah. mineral silk, mineral whatever, <laughs> radiance powder. So, I'm gonna put it on my face first. Might as well, since we're not gone this far, I'll just pull the lid so much. Oh, you're supposed to do it going. Okay, my favorite go to is this dark brown Maybelline New York. Super stay. Um, super ink stay something something. Oh, there you go. Matte ink. So I usually like put it on the outside. Like this. The reason I have all this time in the world to sit and do this is because I have happily and gladly abandoned my children at home with their daddy. So that I can get some time to um, actually do something other than sit and stare at his face and change diapers. I'm gonna put this in. So, so the reason why I like this is because pink on big lips don't look good. See? So 
to me, that is, that's my opinion. To me, the whole bright thing, can you big it them? No, it's good. So I usually line it. Not that I don't like my legs. I love my legs, okay? They give me enough surface air for work with. But I have to know what is what works and what doesn't. So I gotta line it with brown first and then I put this. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the lip gloss. This Caribbean Daddy. See that? See that? From Sam Glam Cosmetics. You can look her up on Instagram. Check in the link in my bio. And you will see the link for Sam Glam Cosmetics. Um, it's a Jamaican um, cosmetic line. It's all natural, you know, it's good for your lips and I can tell you it makes my lips feel really nice and soft and moisturized. Sometimes I just I'll put it on another day just for feel cute when the pen them are going to be careful. So, I'm going to the truth I locked my hair after I had this because I couldn't bother deal with my hair and it has been the best thing of my life because I no longer have to get up and think about combing my hair in the mornings but just rub up something nice and I can just let it go if I'm just going to the store or anywhere that I'm going I can just let it down and that's it good good hair style what I know Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching um, I know it was supposed to be a simple tutorial about how to you know get yourself ready to just go to the supermarket but then I just couldn't help myself and I went overboard so thank you guys for tuning I do appreciate your um, support in all my videos and everything remember to like subscribe share and comment below and if you want me to do the simple makeup tutorial i will so just comment below if you need the simple makeup tutorial okay so this is just me going a little overboard not a lot just a little overboard thank you guys bye